Hello everyone and welcome to another uh, video of the DigiLog collection series. Uh, in this one we'll do uh, an unboxing. Um, so what's in here? Ooh, I bet you want to know. Um, so this is a Magnavox Odyssey 2. Um, the reason I got it is because I want to have a complete collection of all the uh, Magnavox Odyssey um, consoles, game consoles. And uh, one of them was missing was Magnavox Odyssey 2. So I have a, I have I found this good deal um, on eBay, and it, it's, it's supposed to be boxed. There's quite a few games, and I jumped on it, and um, I had it for a few days. And I thought when I open it, I should uh, make another video and see what's inside. All right, so let's see what we have here. Um, while I'm going to open this, I'm going to say a few things about the. Um, Console. So the, the Magnavox Odyssey 2, or Odyssey Power, to the way it's uh, written, uh, was launched by Magnavox in US in 1978. That was one year after the um, uh, Atari VCS, um, two years uh, before the television. Um, those are the three consoles that were uh, most sold at the time, or the three consoles that were the most active when the 1983 um, console game crash happened. Um, it was fairly popular at the time, although it, in terms of sales was quite well behind the um, both the Atari uh, VCS, which was number one uh, sold console, and the Intel Vision. All right, let's see how we can take it out. Looks like this seller did a very good job with uh, packaging the console. Right. It's not coming out. Box is defeating us. No, no, we are defeating the box. Excellent. All right. What do we have here? This is this is how. By the way, folks, this is how um, console. This is how vintage computers should be at least packaged when. Uh, at least you should do this when you package it for uh, shipping from eBay or to other people. A lot of bubble wrap, a lot of, lot of newspapers, uh, cardboard, anything you do to... Because, let's face it, those packages are going to be like smacked, splashed, thrown, um, you know, UPS and other, uh, you know, the post office and other companies. So we, we, we want to protect our goods. All right. Let's get rid of this. So the box looks like it's in actually pretty good condition. Um, but let's see what's inside. I believe it opens like a car hood. Yeah, there you go. All right, so looks like we have um, the Great Wall Street Fortune Hunt game. Um, so that's one. Uh, this is uh, three games here, Speedway, Spin Out, and Cryptologic. Ooh, and one of their uh, Master Strategy series, uh, The Quest for the Rings. We'll have to check this out a bit later. Oh, and quite a few loose games. Uh, Early Invaders, uh, Football, um, Casino Slot Machine. What else do we have? It has a Speedway game. We have the box for uh, Pickaxe Pit. This actually um, uh, became fo very popular in Brazil. Uh, however, the, the edition there was uh, slightly changed. The title was changed. The action was changed. Um, so that's an interesting story. And uh, KC Munchkin. Oh, and some other uh, looks like manuals for KC Munchkin, Blackout, Alien Invaders. Uh, Alright, what else do we have here? We have the two controllers. Uh, it's good resistance on the cable. This looks good. Uh, second controller. Oh, and one more game. Baseball. Yeah. Oh, one, one more. And the um, block out breakdown. That's a neat, neat stack of games here. Let's move this to the side a little bit. Uh, the power supply. Make sure it's for US. Yep, yeah, 115. 
uh, the usual uh, antenna collect connectors um, with a lot of console by then I have a good collection of those like Atari and television they all come with those on your when you get them right let's put this to the side um, so a few few words about the console while I'm opening so like I said this was launched in 1978 by uh, Magnavox it had a, it has a um, 1.79 megahertz uh, Intel 8048 microcontroller. This is the um, the processor, which is uh, faster actually than the processor the 6802 variant inside the Atari VCS, but slightly slower uh, than the um, Intellivision uh, processor. Um, it has a total of 64 bytes of uh, RAM and uh, 1024 bytes of, of uh, ROM um, the color resolution the screen resolution is 160 by 200 pixel um, and it has a 16 color fixed color palette and it obviously is a sprite engine it has a separate um, um, uh, processor that, that's uh, also an Intel one that deals with uh, graphics and that's, that's the sprite processor um, but what's, what's kind of unique about it, and I, I um, for, from all the other consoles, is that it comes with an integrated keyboard and a, a QWERTY keyboard of that. Um, um, some consoles at the time did have um, a keyboard add-on, for example, the uh, Intellivision had one. Um, uh, but you had to buy a separate, and, uh, separate and actually not, you couldn't easily find it. Uh, but this one actually came with a keyboard and while this QWERTY is still a little bit strange while the numbers are at the top uh, Things like the plus minus and, and so on were on a separate line uh, uh, as well above and uh, what's interesting is that um, Magnavox actually did release um, Educational games and some of them uh, were aimed at teaching people how to program So this is a console or a game console where you can actually code and the other uh, interesting thing that the um, Magnavox eventually added uh, was a voice pack. So uh, I don't actually have it here. Uh, you, you mount it on top and then, and then it, it basically able to, it's, it's a speech synthesis voice. And just like uh, I have here the um, Intelli voice from Intellivision, um, the Magnavox one is called The Voice. Okay, so uh, let's uh, talk a little bit about the uh, the box games that we have here and what's special about them. And then we'll just uh, plug it all in and try a game or we'll see if everything works. So what we have here first is the uh, the Quest for the Rings. This is a game of the, uh, one, of, one of the three of, of the master strategy video games that uh, Magnavox uh, released. Now this was very interesting because uh, what well, they effectively bridge the gap between um, board games and computer games. Uh, this one, um, it's obviously, but you can guess by that, loosely based on the uh, Lord of the Rings series. Um, so it comes with a um, keyboard uh, overlay that just goes like that, and then uh, different keys now have different meanings, like No Ring, Game Start, uh, The Nightmares. Um, looks like it has a very beautiful, um, high quality color graphics uh, manual. Um, and because, like I said, it comes from a board game, it, actually, it has an actual board, game board. Um, and it comes with uh, game tokens and um, coins and um, other objects you, 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 uh, you, you could use. Right, let's put this back. And the second one that we have that's boxed is the uh, Wall Street uh, Fortune Hunt. Those boxes are actually, by the way, great quality. Really, um, really thick cardboard, shiny printing. Um, you can see actual actual pieces you can play with. Um, very nice. All right, so um, let's let's give it a try. All right, so I plugged in the power. Um, I connected the TV, I have a, a blockout game, so uh, let's see what's going to happen. So let's start the power. Hey, we have an image. It says select game. So let's try. Oh, there you go. Blockout. Let's get this. Press 1. Let's try it. Oh, the controls are fairly responsive. Yeah, look at that. 
Decent sound. Uh, decent colors as well. This is not bad. Oh no! Oh, I got it! Whoa! Alright, oh! Alright, let's see what um, bonus do we have. Let's try... Let's see what else do we have. Let's try this one, KC1, oh, Peacock, Peacock Speed. Let's see this one. Instead of console, power button. Oh, that doesn't look good. That does not look good. Oh, there you go. All right. You have to climb. There you go. You can jump. You can fall down. Oh, okay, you can go up the stairs. Oh, I see. Okay. Ah, uh -huh, I see. So you have to avoid. Oh no! I think we just died. All right, let's wait for one of those. One of the stairs. There you go, right up here now. Oh, let me see the Oh, there you go, we got it, we got it, we got it. We got it, oh, I missed it. Oh, we got it, we got it, we got it. One more. We got it! Yeah! Although, I'm not really sure what happened there. Looks like we can jump. I mean, that looks a lot of fun, doesn't it? Alright, so um, that was uh, it for our segment of the um, Magna Box Odyssey 2. Um, there's a few of the games I'm going to go through, see what works or doesn't. I'm also going to do a bit of cleaning of the console. It has some smudges and some scratches. Uh, this is painted plastic, though, so I have to be careful. I can't use um, rubbing alcohol, so I have to... Uh, uh, probably I'm also going to open it up to see what is inside. And I'm hoping to get a um, voice, uh, the voice, what's called the voice pack module. And do a comparison between that and um, uh, the Intellivision, Intellivoice. Um, I have some games that use the, the voice um, output on this one. I'll we'll see uh, how do the each other how do how do they stack against each other. Until then, thank you and uh, please subscribe to my channel. Um, bye.